Hey guys, Joseph DeWorld here, and today, yet again, we are talking about another disgusting nonce. But not just any nonce, the disgusting man you see on your screen right now is Alex Robinson. I probably butchered that name, I'm so sorry, I'm half asleep. Anyway, Alex tried to meet up with what he thought to be two schoolgirls, and this man has... Quite the history, and we're going to be talking about all of it. He communicated what he thought to be two schoolgirls. Luckily, it wasn't two schoolgirls. It was a predator hunting group named the Guardians of the North. He travelled over 100 miles to a McDonald's to meet these two. Luckily, it was, you know, the predator hunting group who they then confront, and he obviously got arrested. In the conversation, he messaged a... 14 and 15 year old obviously they weren't but you know he agreed to travel from leeds to sunderland to meet chelsea and lauren those were the names of the fake girls anyway he bragged in the conversation he bragged about the size of his certain thing and said they were lucky girls after he denied that he did any of this for months and in the video which i'll show a bit of footage of he was obviously taking the trial and arrested. I'll show those clips now. Yes, you have. We've got all the chat from start to finish. We're ringing the police now, son. Out the car. Okay. Out the car. Come out the car. Why? Oh, come out the car. Listen, you come to meet the 14 year old and the 15 year old. Just stay where you are, just sit there. Are you come to meet the 14 and 15 year old for sex? No. Yes, yes you, you have. Are. I've got everything on chat. It's me you've been talking to. What's that? That's you. Try your chaps. Don't lie. Can I have my key right. back? No. You're not getting your no. keys? Not until the police come. Not until the police is here. Two seconds, mate. Two seconds. Talk, yeah. I'll get, I'll get you realise what you've done, don't you? Don't you? No, I ain't done nothing. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Yes. You've asked two yes, girls to meet you tonight. No. A 14 year old girl, a 15 year old girl, and you've, no. you support, you, you think you're actually stopping at the. 15 year old girl's house for sex house. all night. Okay, we've got everything. Every single thing. You do understand what you've done now, mate. You've just ruined the rest of your life. You'll be on the sex offenders register now. I haven't done anything. And despite for months denying everything, he finally pled guilty to two counts of online grooming. He was sentenced in court when he was obviously on trial. He was sentenced to 12 months in prison and he was given a 10-year sexual harm prevention order. But because he already served eight years in prison, sorry, eight months in prison on remand, he was released immediately. And are absolutely ridiculous. And this next point proves my point because not only did he, you know, not learn his lesson, he did it again. This dude really has no common sense. Less than two months out of being released and obviously having to serve his sexual and prevention order, he immediately breached it less than two months, by the way, with online grooming offences. He had contacted an online profile who he thought or believed to be another schoolgirl. He sent a number of sexually charged messages with the clear intent of engaging in, you know, with this child. Luckily, it wasn't a child. It was actually a predator hunting group. I think it was this time called Predator Exposure, who we've covered before on this channel. Now, I can't find the link on a sting to the second one, so... I won't be able to share a link to that, but a link will be left in the description for the first thing. So if you guys do want to go check out, it's not too long. Anyway, he obviously breached the order and was obviously taken back to court after Predator Exposure then confronted him. And, you know, he obviously got arrested and he was obviously found to be breaching it again. Anyway, he was sentenced to a six-year prison sentence and indefinite indefinite 
sexual harm prevention order and was told that he must sign the sex offenders register for life. Now, that is what I call a real punishment. Now, I still would say sentence him to longer, but obviously I'm not the one who decides these things. But six years might be one of the longest sentences we've covered on this channel. And even though it took twice to do it and he basically got away Scots free the first time, because he already served eight months. And honestly, I think he should have served another year, but obviously, like, I'm not the one who's sad. And since that second stone took place during November 2017, he should be still serving his sentence, I believe. But obviously, he will either get out late 2023 or early 2024, I believe. So he'll be out soon, unless he's already been released for, I don't know, fucking good behaviour or something. Hopefully, that's. Not the case. I hope he serves a very long sentence. He deserves a far longer punishment, in my opinion. But again, I'm not the one who decides these things. Anyway, that's been Joseph the World. Make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.